the best we can do is just try to be amicable, amicable with them. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know what you're aiming that at, and <sighs> it's it's hard, man. Okay, you you don't know him like hey, I I've dealt with Mister this whole time. Okay, and I've made it this far. You can. But we have too. ten more to get through. Eleven. Eleven. How? God damn! There are a lot of gods in this world. Why? We, you know, we can speed it up. We can be fast about it. In and out, you know. Yeah. So I guess I better put on my poker face then. That would be better than looking extremely disinterested in gaining a blessing from a god or goddess. I'll try. Yeah, I keep for. I need to remember in my head that this is for the fate of the world. Thank you. Um, you see that uh, Laura teleports you guys um, to uh, Sarius. Um, Sarius is this. Uh, city that's comprised of kind of like crimson buildings um there is a circular wall that surrounds the perimeter um and kind of a tall uh kind of like uh you see in, in the center of the city is this tall kind of like uh cannon that is being uh manned by some of the city guard and um yeah uh you also see that around the base of this gigantic cannon um, there are some kind of like uh, soldiers um, or at least men with armor on and on the kind of like back of it it reads uh, Excalibur um, you see that as you guys arrive here in the city um, you see that um, the god has not arrived yet um, he is beginning his march uh, you hear like the distant sounds of <laughs> Uh, the ground shaking um and you see uh first of all adelaide you see freya is here in the city as well she's talking to some of the soldiers um and she looks at you as you arrive and is like adelaide hey what are you doing here i could i you know i was just about to ask that question to you why, why are you here she's like i'm helping fight a god why else would i be here I, I mean, you've you've already died once, and now you're going back into war. She says, "So you would rather have me sit by and kind of watch the war happen from a safe distance? Like it's kind of confusing. yes. No, yeah, that's exactly what I'd prefer. I can't be a damsel in distress, Adelaide, especially when you're out here fighting a war as well. I can't just sit by." Hazel, I can't just be helpless. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I, 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 were you talk? Wait, wait. Out of character. Was that you, the, the, the DM saying Hazel? Or was that Freya saying Hazel? That was Freya. Oh, okay. Ken, I thought I was doing something. Um, uh, he says, she says, A. Well, he says, A. Listen, I, I see your point, but you've got to see mine. Uh, go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna help. Oh, can I help her out? I want to be, I want to kind of just, just like observe her, like. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead and roll a page. 17. <laughs> she says, Adelaide, the god is on his way here. I don't. I just, <laughs> you're risking your life and I'm done being a shitty sister, okay? I want to, I want to help. Listen, all right. Okay, since you're already here, then fine. But I'm gonna be really, really mad if you get injured. Uh, you see that she pulls you in for a hug and is like, I won't if you won't, okay? No promises on my end. 
Yeah, it's kind of what do we do here. Yeah, we just kind of die, and occasionally we come back, but... She's like, okay, and you're asking me to be the damsel in Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, you see she walks away and uh, yeah, just keeps talking to the city guard as well. Huh. Oh, that was, that was painless. painless. What did you say? I said, well, that was painless. I thought she was going to go more into scolding you a little bit. Listen, uh, it's just not the time. There will be further discussion later. Fair, yeah. Oh. Getting an update from Dan, he, uh... Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> in. It's all good. Oh, no. <laughs> it's early in California, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so you guys see that, um... In the far off distance, the, the earth is shaking as the god is approaching. Um, the uh, Excalibur crew, in tandem with the city guard, kind of like points the uh, giant cannon towards the god as he's approaching. Um, and you all notice that uh, there's a shadow cast over the city as Bane, the Strife Emperor, arrives. Um, I should fucking talk in my hand over my face as I'm doing his voice. Um, you see as the shadow is cast, you look up and see a man, 20 feet tall, all black armor, um, kind of like with this like blackened blade um, on his back. Um, you see just like uh, two red eyes from the helmet. Um, and the helmet itself kind of like has horns that uh, kind of like curl up and point towards the heavens. And you see that uh, Bane looks down at the city and you hear just this loud uh, kind of like cackle. Just <laughs> uh, oh, wait, he, Zelron's going to run real quickly. He's going to run all the way up into the middle of the battlefield. Uh, you rush into the middle of the battlefield. Um, as soldiers are pulling out their bows and swords and getting ready to rush into the fight. Wait, 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 wait. Hold off! Stand by, and he's gonna face the god. That's coming. He's gonna say, um, hey! Um, who, who are you? Yeah, and he's just playing dumb at this point, Hank. He, he, there's a, he's doing it. I'm doing a thing. Just wait. Okay. The god looks down at you and kind of like tilts his head. He's like, ah, are you, are you talking to me or one of the soldiers down there? You, what? you, you up there. Me? me? Yes. Uh, have you not heard the tales of my great expo? I am Bane, the strife emperor, bringer of war, man in black, 20 feet tall. This ringing any Ooh. bells at all? I. Oh, you're, you're Bane? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm. That, that's me. That's. Do you want me to sign oh. something? Like... No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Just let me look at you. Whoa. I must say, you're way cooler than what the uh, legends say you do. Uh, he looks down at you and is like, "Wait, really? Like, you think I'm like cool, cool, like?" Awesome. Hell yeah! Your your type of vibe really suits me. You, I mean, look at me. Uh, Even though I don't wear armor, I am you know I I love me a good amount of darkness every now and then. He looks at you and is like, "Yeah, I mean, I I think I'm pretty fucking cool. I mean, the the armor's sick. I mean, your your vibe's cool too. I fucking rock with it, man. I mean, I like the you. Uh, yeah, the vibe is, is sick, bro. Yeah." I like how your eyes just kind of glow from the helmet. It, th that's really menacing. I was almost scared to talk to you, but uh, I had to figure out something. But, uh, hey, um, can I ask you a question? So the thing is, I'm kind of in the middle of sieging a city right now, so it's kind of like a busy time. But you, don't worry, don't, I'll let you get right back to that. But uh, can I ask, why exactly are you sieging the city? Just, just give, just, just answer me why before you, uh, and I promise I will let you lay waste to everybody. You think I care about these people? Fuck these people. I, you hear some of the people below be like, hey, what the fuck, man? 
Um, you see, he looks down and he's like, "No, the hell!" <laughs> he's like way Surprise, far away. Fuckers. No one's. Hey, hey there. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'm late. I... All... It's all good. Oh, good, yeah. Um, Zelron is talking to Bane, the Strife Emperor. Um, oh, hope he doesn't God, break me in it. half. Bane looks down at you and is like, well, well, why do why do humans need water, right? Why do they... Because it's, it's, it's just kind of... A Survival? Thing. Right. But I mean, it's not like... I mean, but we're not posing a... Well, they these guys aren't posing a threat. And I'm definitely not posing a threat. You look... I would not even mess with you. You are... Oh. I probably could tear you in half, to be honest, but I... You, you definitely could. You, you definitely will, actually. I, there's no could to it. There's no question. I, I absolutely will. And, and uh, now that this... No, wait, but, but, but you haven't really, like, answered it, really, because, I mean, like, we're not posing a threat, so why are you with I mean, like, it's not like we're threatening your safety, unless someone is threatening your safety and making you do this. See, he says, no, no one's threatening my safety directly. No one's giving me orders. Direct? Just... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Directly? What you... What's going on indirectly, then? It's just kind of my thing. I, this is what I do. I bring war. I'm the bringer of war. It's one of my tight. It's 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 what I do. I, uh, okay. Well, here. How about this? All right. I'll make you a deal. I will let you carry on if you wipe out Excalibur first. Deal? It, the, those guys down there. Yeah, th those guys. Wipe. Just you know, wipe those people off the map. Well, maybe not the people working for. Just the, the leader, the one who's like very at the forefront. Those guys. I know they 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 don't, they're just kind of. Working for the gold, but just just him. His name is Lord Drake. Yeah, just just take care of him for me, and, and then every and then you can lay waste. Just do whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Should I take out the cannon because it was made by Excalibur? Or should I take that one out uh, too? Or yes. Um. And one more thing. Uh. Could you give us at least just give us like twenty minutes? Just just to you know. Uh, make sure we can get him out here so you can kill him first and then you can come in. All right, I just need to prepare, okay? Oh, okay. Um, All right, just just 20 minutes. I promise, and then you can get back to your destro destruction. Sure. Okay. I, I would love to see that. I love me some destruction every now and then. I'm from hell, so, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Hell yeah. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, fist bump it. Yeah. Fist bumps. He's like, all right, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll start uh, counting 20 minutes in, in seconds and puts his hands over his eyes. He's like, one, All right, well, you don't have, you don't have to do that. You can just you know yeah. Two, I mean if you want. Okay, okay, but then he just dashes back over. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Zelrin right, and Bane are now best fucking buddies. <laughs> so he's uh, so he's gonna go over to the it. team and he's gonna say, "All right, so I bought us twenty minutes. Uh, we might need to be ready." Zelrin, what and the also, fuck did you do? I you do uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a health thing, I guess. Um. But I did have a solution, not only to our problem, but also to uh, the stain that's been following us around everywhere. So what did you do? I bargained that he would continue on. We already have the means to fight him, anyways. So I mean, we were gonna fight. He was just gonna go anyway. So I, I, I wanted to make this an advent, an, an advantageous moment for us. We give him Drakeon. And he carries on after he takes care of him. I just want to make sure he's out of the way and done with and dealt with. So that then we can take him down. And then that, at least then we'll have him out of our way. And we didn't have to do the dirty work. What is this I'm hearing? Um, more political turmoil? Is that is that what you're telling me right now? Political turmoil? No. No. Just I don't like Drakeon. And we don't, you're, we all you're wiping don't like out a king with no backup. Hey. Uh, I, they, they didn't hear me say anything about it, so, just Excalibur, I mean, I, no, okay, so you're gonna tell me that you guys like Excalibur, Excalibur Prime? I'm not saying I like it, I'm just saying, like, there's no plan for replacing him, you know, as a large entity in the world, you know, runs a country. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I have, yeah. I have an idea, I have, oh, I have an idea, oh, don't, I, I have planned for that, it's up here in my noodle. So, uh, don't That's worry. Right. The plan oh, is by replacing so him with reliable. one of us. Yeah, I know. The power vacuum would open up and something would be able to fill it. But I have something. I have something in mind. 
Also, worst case scenario, if Dracon ends up kicking the bucket because of this, there's a good chance that anyone related to him might hate us for the rest of eternity and then maybe want to kill us? Yeah, that too. Ah, fuck him. We can always take care of him later. Do you know who we are? We're about to save the fucking world. We're also... a bunch of fucking idiots as well. They, they... I'm pretty sure they didn't hear anything. Hey, uh, he's gonna walk over to the... He's just gonna leave mid-conversation. He's gonna go over to, to Drakeon and the, and the Excalibur people. <laughs> you see uh, Drakeon uh, is, like, talking to one of his employees. Um, his arms folded. Turns to you and he's like, Zell, good buddy. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Now, firstly, I want to say that ever since that day you came to me when we were at uh, Rosano, my eyes have been really opened. And I was never really privy to the amount of good that Excalibur could ever do for this entire world. So, firstly, I just want to say thank you. A big thank you for opening up my eyes and showing me the way. And he, kinda, he even bows. Lucas uh, is just watching this like, what the fuck? Uh, Drakeon looks and is like, Oh, glad you came to your senses. I am glad to be of help, you know. I, I you know, it's just, I just gotta set a good example to, you know, and it's, I, I'm glad I was able to help you. Now, um, okay, so I've talked to the big guy. And he says he's willing to lay down his arms if you go and, uh, actually, you know, sign with him and, like, peace with you all. So, I need you as, you know, the big main guy here who's kind of leading everyone to go and just make amends. I've managed to talk with him, hence why he's just sitting over there doing something. 101, 102... <laughs> Drinky <laughs> looks and is like, okay, that seems like a weird kind of like agreement to come to, but. You made it very yeah. worth his while, don't you worry. Make a deception check. <laughs> oh no. I was surprised you didn't give me any checks during that entire thing with the <laughs> god as well. Um. Oh shit. Drakeon is like, okay, I will, I will frontline and talk to him, but at the first sign of anything going wrong, I'm gonna rely on the soldiers and my Excalibur employees. Sound like a deal? Um, okay. And hell, even if that were to come to pass, could you show me where your uh, employees are so I can give them the actual directions? to, you know, help defeat this thing. Uh, we are all in this together, so if something were to kick off, I would like them to know about it. You see, he nods and uh, shows you some of his employees um, who kind of, like, nod to you. Um, he's like, this is Bill. Uh, you know, he, he's kind of like... Hey, Bill. I, uh, he's kind of like the head of warehouse when I'm out doing, doing stuff. Um, so, you know, Okay, um, okay, well, go ahead, and I'll go ahead and talk these over with these guys. Um, soldiers, I don't know if you're gonna take them, but you feel free to take them if you wish, but these guys, I need to make sure that they're all prepped and ready to go, considering that they aren't really used to warfare. Uh, they nod to you, um, and Drakeon heads out to the front line, uh, just outside the city gates. Um, you see that, uh, yeah, the city guards sit on, like, uh, elevated positions, um, not quite, like, knocking the arrows yet, but they have their bows, um, a lot of them have their swords out, um, and are, uh, looking ready. Um, do you think Zelron would have taken any of his, uh, army from the Nine Hells here? Well, yeah, he probably would have taken the last remaining, uh, amount that he did take from there. If that makes, I don't know. I, I don't know why I said it like that. It's okay. I get what you mean. Yeah. Um, so the demon knights are here. Um, the city guard, a bunch of fucking soldiers, as well as 
Excalibur employees manning this giant Excalibur cannon. A big battle is set to kick off. Um, Freya stands right next to Adelaide um, and is like uh, just watching Drakeon be led into this obvious trap. And she's like, okay, I hated the guy too, but it's this is kind of that's kind of brutal, you know, to be handed to a god. It's like, well, I, I tried to tell them, but I, I mean, it's the best we've got right now. She shrugs and is like, well, okay. Um, I mean, he did send people to kill me a couple times, so. You know, it's true. Um, but I don't think I would, I don't know what this god's going to do to him, but I don't think I would wish that on him. So. I'm, I'm sure it'd be a fast death. It's probably fine, right? It's probably fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> um, Lucas, you okay. stand um, at the kind of like center of the city as well. Um, you see Bane uh, is like crouched down, like covering his eyes and just like counting up to 20 minutes in seconds. Um, and yeah, you see that eventually... Um, Drakeon goes out into the front <laughs> of the gate and you see, um, yeah, you see, uh, Bane eventually reaches down, um, looks at Drakeon, um, and looks at Zelron, who's in the center of the city and is like, is this, this is the, this is him? And he's going to kind of hold up a finger and he's going to turn to the, uh, employees and he's going to say, all right, so level with me here. Without the influence of Drakeon behind your shoulder, how do you guys really feel about him? Uh, and I'm talking to all of you, all of these exa uh, all these Excalibur people. He says, "All anybody who works for Excalibur, how do you really feel about Drakeon?" One of them speaks up and says, "We've been given like really bad hours and we have to work like ridiculous overtimes i don't want to necessarily say that i hate him but he did kind of give this great promise of changing the world and then it was just a bunch of drones delivering products so it's kind of and we don't even get paid really that well we're almost we are almost indentured slaves it's kind of a thing so in retrospect I do hate him just a tiny, just a tad, just a tiny bit, a little, just a, just a little bit. All you had to do is just say that you had to hate the fella. Just you know, don't sugarcoat it. Come on. I feel, um, I feel bad for saying every, that I hate every, him because anyone else? You see another one raises their hand and is like, "Well, uh, he sucks as well. I think he sucks. Um, the warehouse is like hot." And he's got this, like, big office that is just, like, comfortable. And it's just, like, yeah, he sucks. And the rest of the, like, <laughs> Excalibur employees kind of, like, nod. And are like, yeah, this guy fucking sucks. This guy sucks. And for those of you who are on his side, I'll have you know that Drakeon has caused my family, me and my, me, my friends, and my family, a great deal of harm over the years. He's, I don't even want to get into it. He's just scum and scum like that shouldn't be trying to change or shouldn't be changing the world in his vision it should be led by somebody who actually wants to help the world now do you all actually want to help the world yeah yeah we do yes right then how's about i find you guys a leader after this and then he's gonna raise his hands up to uh He's going to raise up his hands to the uh, god, and he's just going to say, shake his head. And he's going to shake his head. Uh, you see Bane looks down at you and is like, so don't do it, or I still should do it, or don't. He says, he's even doing this. So, like, no, 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 not... Fuck! <laughs> um, okay, so he's gonna say... Uh, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. And Drinkian looks up to the god and is like, huh, 
I'm glad we have come to an agreement as he's lifted up and <laughs> in his hand and you see Bane looks down at Drakeon and is like you know it is weird that he would single out a person to be killed first before the city's laid waste to but apparently you've been this feels weird. I'm a, I'm fully an antagonist, but you apparently you've been causing pain to. You like destruction, right? Yeah, I do. You see, his eyes turn purple, and he's like, "Farewell, then." And you see that he clenches his entire hand. Drakeon goes, Aah! and is just squeezed, and Drakeon is crushed in Bane's hand and you see he opens his hand and it's just blood and skeleton that jobs the ground. Meanwhile he has moved on back to the party and you have no idea how good that feels to hear that shit out of character. God damn it. I've been dealing with that piece of shit on my ass for the past two campaigns. <laughs> Wait what the uh, fuck did he do in the last one? He did shit a lot. I think he got Anya kidnapped. It pretty much. It, he was behind that. Yeah, he was. <laughs> okay, Shit, I'm sorry, I guess Kat. I need to watch. I, I guess I need to watch more of the first campaign that I wasn't a part like, of. He was everywhere. Everywhere you looked, he was there. Just like, hey, I'm here to cause you trouble. He's like the green fucking Green Goblin. <laughs> yeah, but Green Goblin's actually cool. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Especially during the Tobey Maguire movies, like, oh my god. Can the Spider-Man <laughs> come out to play? Um, you so yeah, he uh, he's back over at the party says, so, that's done. Now, get ready for actual warfare, because he's gonna come and try to kill us all. Yeah. Uh, it's like, Bane was just kind of doing that at, to Dracon. Lucas, you can definitely see Lucas wincing. And he's like, uh, like, don't get me wrong, the guy was an asshole, but not gonna lie, Zell, even he deserved a fate better than death to a god. Fair, but I can't stand his ass. After hearing what everything he's done, there's no way we would have gotten him behind bars or gotten him, hell, we couldn't even take him to hell with us, so, looks we like we had to. We just didn't. Like, leaving him alive and dropped off in hell would honestly seem a lot funnier than having him crushed by... Oh, don't worry. When he dies, he's most certainly going to hell. Most certainly. After the things he's done, he'll be there torturing, and I'll be there watching him when I get home. Maybe make his punishment something about some sort of, like, counter... Or, like, some other, like, evil company that has the same idea as Drake on just taking over or something like that. It's actually not a bad idea. The way you think. God, it's it's strange to think about how we hated each other back then. We really just have the same mind. How the fuck did that happen? Like, oh, man. Wait, I know. I know, because you were royalty and you kind of held that with a high-ass head. I have been away from home for a little too long. Yeah, you don't hate it. You love it. Okay, well, now I, back I to the... use it to bring okay. justice. But uh, yeah, no, back to the matter at hand. That's dealt with. So what? We kill a god now, then move on to the next one. Pretty much. Adelaide, you're up for I... killing some gods. That's what we're here for. All right, and he mo and also most likely he would have uh, Dragon would have most likely just died during the siege anyway. Not nah, never mind. He probably wouldn't have. He probably would have been a coward and left. Mm, fair. But we'll say this: after we take care of this guy, we got to hit up Asmodeus. I got personal. We got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Out. We can have business with him, but me more than you. Oh yeah. Now, if my mother were here, she, uh, she would love to be here around that time. When we take him down. Luke, Lucas just kind of nods. Then just kind of opens his eyes and is like, Oh shit, I forgot to tell my dad that Asmodeus... You know what? Probably for the better. Let's go kill this guy. <laughs> uh, you see... Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. 
No, 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 you go. Okay, well, I'm done. All right. Bane stands up, having crushed Drakeon, dropping the blood and skeleton off on the ground. Um, you see that, uh, yeah, the city guard, like, knock their arrows and pull out their swords and shields and um, get ready to cast, like, spells and shit. Um, as Bane, the Strife Emperor, now marches toward the city, pulls out his sword and swings it down towards the city. I need everybody to roll for initiative. Oh boy. And I already kind of yeah. have a little, a tiny bit of, I know I don't have his, like, you know, full on, like, trust, trust, but I just have a tiny bit of his, like, you know, trust alongside me, because I complimented him on his looks. Hold on, why am I at level 11 and everyone else is at 10? Did we? Shit! Oh, Oh, did I forget to level up? Okay, <laughs> so that's not me then. Okay. Yeah, you should be level 11. I'm, I'm, that's totally on me, I'm sorry. No, 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 you did announce yeah, it, that's not a... Fuck. Yeah, no, yeah, you definitely announced it, uh, it, I'm the, I'm, yeah, I'm the idiot. Okay. Look, give me both. <laughs> yeah, you both also, are idiots. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, oh, man. Okay, so... Oh, let's get on! <laughs> Stats for the oh wait, did we take any rest since the last time we were in battle? Um, I think so. Last time you were in battle was. Uh, what did you guys fight last time? Uh, uh, oh, Parsis. Uh, Parsis, yeah. Oh yeah. I will say you did have a long rest since the battle with Parsis, so yeah. Okay, good. Meantime. Bane. I forget Bane quotes from the Batman movie, but I'm sure so. You oh barely God. adopted the dog. I was born in it. Born by it. I fucking love that movie. That accurate. He actually fucking killed that. Yeah. Would you believe he's Venom? Is that? Oh, Sam Hardy. Oh shit! <laughs> I did not know this. Okay. I have to make him the proper size of the guns. Okay, what's his name? like that. Okay. Hold How tall did you say this guy was? Like twenty feet. Taller than me. Okay, twenty feet. Yeah. Oh, I was about to damn. say he's a fucking god. Yeah. yeah, I was expecting him to be some like mountainous, huge, mungus guy. This is God One, so yeah. Uh, Wait, God One? As in the first God to get up so far. Oh. So it's fine. Um, so I will show you where uh, Bane is right now. He's right there, and then I'll add you guys to the map. And then feel free to just oh, yeah. yourselves wherever you'd like to be. God, he's so cool. Okay. Um I feel like Zelwyn would probably be more in front than yeah, me and Adam. Yeah. Adelaide, and I, we we're have... just... What no, I don't want We have a special bond, he and I do. Angel, you better make uh artwork of just Zelrin and Bane fucking fist bumping each other. I need to know how to draw That's his lens. hands though, because his fucking hands are like claws. Hey, look, he's still at Ayla in the picture. He has blood running down his hand. It matches. Hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah. holy shit! That's meant pretty to be. cool. <laughs> it was meant to happen. It's a canon event. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! You guys are terrible. You know that. <laughs> it can't be awkward. <laughs> Not the sound effects. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I still need an initiative roll from Zell and Adam, but wait, wait, I rolled mine too. Yeah, I rolled oh, mine too. I'm yeah. a seventeen. Okay. I rolled a nine. 
Oh, but I can re-roll if you want me to. No, yeah, I'm, uh, what, what was your roll, Zell? A nine. Nine. And then what was your roll, Adley? Seventeen. Seventeen. You got it. Oh, shit. I haven't added Freya, however. No, she's in the... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. She's gonna be fine, guys. She's she gonna get fucking murk. I'm gonna put Freya right next to her sister. Right there. All right. And combat begins against the first god, Bane, the Strife Empire. Oh. Except... Bane, the Strife Emperor, goes first. Ooh. Bane is going to... Um, Bane is going to move up slightly here. And he can make four attacks per turn. Um, oh. oh, shit. He's going to uh, look down at Zelron and is like, Sorry, man, I just... I know we're cool, but you're kind of in the way, so... Oh, yeah, I know, don't worry, just just go your full force. Well, okay, well, maybe not your... Well, just, just attack like you're normally going to attack. Uh, we you, we both got our deal out of the way, so let's just go ahead and... We're even Stevens now. <laughs> Hits you with the sword. Uh, this is... Since I, don't oh, have a, since I don't have his stats properly set up, this is plus 19. So, yeah, that definitely hits. Oh, I fucking... Oh, oh, no! Plus 19?! What? Even if you roll it that one, that's still. Oh, oh, oh. You take. Well, I mean, if you rolled a net one, he's still not gonna hit. Oh you yeah. Take. Oh. That is going to be. Um. Twenty points of force oh. damage. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe we were a little in our heads, oh, guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe, I think. Retreat. Honestly. Yeah. Wait. What the fuck happened to like trying to? help get allies with like the good gods we, we well, got no. one and then this shit happened right you guys uh did go to mistress palace and you talked to saren ray um so i should mention lucas you also have a fly speed of 60 feet because you got phoenix wings on your back from saren ray oh shit yeah, what the I fuck totally forgot to mention that when you came in it just slipped my mind um, I mean, yeah, I kind of slipped in pretty quick and then had some audio problems and slipped out and slipped back in. No um, Bane is going to use the rest of his movement then, staying in Zelron's attack radius, but is going to look down at Lucas now and take his second attack. Oh, what the fuck? No. This is plus 19, so you have a couple hits. Lucas, you take... Yeah. Why are you moving? I mean, oh, this is gonna hurt. It's a formality. Uh, you take... <laughs> this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. 27 points of force damage. Oh, God. Uh, I... He just rushes up and, uh, just swings his sword directly down towards you. Um... And, yeah. Uh, then he's going to... What is his reach? Ah, oh, uh, it does have to... Oh no, he can move diagonally and still be in Zelron's range. There's oh no fuck. Right here. Son of a wiener. And then one attack at Adelaide. Yep. Um, yeah, that is. <laughs> man, I am just rolling really well. It's. Uh, it's Hang on, you said it's plus 19? It's a plus 19 to hit, so. Um, Even the. Oh. 24 force to Adelaide. Yep. And then the last one towards Freya. Wait, I have a thing for when I get hit. Let me find it. Because I'm, uh, more luck. What is it? I uh, need my reaction to deal psychic damage up to my charisma. Okay, I'm going to push him 15 feet away. And let me see how much damage that is. Four damage. Four damage. Hell yeah. Um, like, right before he lands an attack on Freya, you uh, blast him back. Blast him 15 feet backwards. I'm gonna put him right here just so he doesn't cover up Zelran. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he uh, very anime, like crashes into the wall, leaving a crater behind him. Um, 
that. Do I get an opportunity attack since he moved out of my range? It is considered force move. Um, oh, oh, fuck. Damn. All right. <laughs> he magnetoed himself all the way over to the edge of the map. <laughs> but that finishes Bane's go. Now Freya's going to go. She is going to cast... I didn't give Bane any... No, I gave her. Okay, I gave her some combat spells. All right. Um, but you see that she uh, looks up, her eyes glowing white, uh, and she, like, grabs, like... Uh, it looks like she's like grabbing thin air from her like shoulder and she pulls her hand over and it forms into this magical bow made out of light and she knocks an arrow and swoop, shoots this uh, light arrow out towards Bane provoking a dexterity saving throw which he fails she deals 36 points of radiant damage doubled because he's holy shit oh my god and Zelron's gonna kind of whisper to himself, Oh, I so pity this dude who brushes her into the bedroom rodeo. <laughs> Lucas uh, is just gonna look at it and be like, The fuck? He said this under his breath. No one say, no one heard him. No, no, no. Look, no, looking at the magical bow and arrow. Oh. <laughs> um, and also, Lucas has superior hearing because of fucking liking shit. Oh God! Um, well, he didn't realize that you he he forgot that you even had that. So yeah, he still like the thing still stands. Uh, so the the arrow of like strikes Bane in the chest and staggers back. Um, that finishes Freyo's go. Adelaide, you're up. Zelrun, you're on deck. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Fairy Fire. So give me a Dex save. Yes. Ah. Uh, Dexterity saving throw? What's the DC on that? Yep. 16. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn. Should I... It actually worked this time. Uh, oh, no. Don't you <laughs> even do it. Don't you even do it. Nuh-uh. Don't do it. Let me have this one. Don't do this that. Finally, I've oh. got fairy fire on somebody. No. Guys. Come on. Fairy the fire. The first time ever. No. On fairy fire. No. No. This may be the only no. time. Hell, I'll, if you want to, you can use it on my turn. I'll, I'll take it for the team, okay? I'll, you know me. I'll, I'll, it's concentration. I'll be gone in a second right, anyways. Like, right. let me have this. Okay, he's not going to use it for resistance. <laughs> oh, thank gosh. <laughs> he's just going to take it. Um, you see that you set up this fire spell, and it creates this, like, silhouette of Bane um, that kind of, like, surrounds him in green, fiery energy. Um, he chuckles to himself. Um... Any bonus action or movement? Yes, bonus action, Bardic Inspiration to uh, Freya. You got it. Um, all good? Or... Yeah. Alright. Uh, finishing Adeline's go, that's going to be Zoran. <laughs> Alrighty! So, he's going to hit him with a Booming Blade. And, uh... Do the thing. Alright, ready? Pew pew! Oh, 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 you know, fucking, you just, you know, why not, you know? Why, why not? Uh, so, quick and spell. Hey. With advantage, because fairy fire. Oh, he is fairy fire, huh. yeah. 22. Oh, uh, the. Don't say it matches. It's, uh,. God damn it. Okay. It's fine. Oh, he's going to use quick and spell. And he's going to do it again. Oopsie, hang on. Hell yeah. Both of those hit. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jeebus. Uh, okay, um... So you brush up after Adelaide like uh, forced him back into the wall. You carve to um, just cuts directly into the skin of Bane. Um, 
I he wants to carve uh, an X. Well, no, not an, not an X, a Z. Hell yeah. No. Ah. Uh, um, I think what happens is as uh, he's like leaning there, you run up the side of his arm and uh, uh, like carve uh, into his fucking face. Um, it's like, oh, fuck, dude, get off me. Um, oh, no! Please? And uh, if he's actually on, so, wait, you said he's actually like on his face when he stabs him in the face? Okay, so he's going to try to keep his sword in him and not take it out, and he wants to hang on. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, just God of War the shit? Hell yeah. Yeah, pretty much. A lot. Um, go ahead, as he stands up, make me a... I want to say DC 15 acrobatic athletics. Oh, okay. That's twenty. Okay, fair enough. God damn. You got a war guy at this shit. As he's like standing up, you stick your sword into the side of his face, and he stands up, and you are fully um, hanging onto the sword, and um, even yeah, you have like safe footing um, below you um, as his like shoulder. Um, that finishes Zelron's turn. He's gonna oh, wait one, one last thing. Sorry, he. One more thing. Uh, he's gonna say that, uh, too bad that you're uh, kind of going against us. You're the only actual god I, I actually quite like. Uh, he looks at you and he's like, Yeah, man, you're cool too. It's kind of sucks for enemies. Huh? Shame. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Finishing Zell's turn. Alora, um, she is going to, uh, she walks over to Lucas and is like, uh, do you want me to take you up there, or up onto him? Yeah, why not? She nods. He's like, all right, hold on tight. Grabs you by the wrist, um, and she what? she casts Dimension Door. Um, as you see that in a swirl of like smoke, you disappear and reappear onto the shoulder. Um, Zelron on his left shoulder, Lucas on his right, and Alora on his right as well. Um, Guess how are you doing up here? Uh, magic. Hi. Ah, makes sense. Oh, hey, Alora, are you sure you should be up here? You're gonna kind of get flung <laughs> off, and you know, you know how the, the the wizards get, you know, with their damage. Okay, I'm uh, not, no offense. I don't, oh. oh my god, I can't believe this is. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry for him. Sorry, but I'm kind of in the middle of stabbing. Oh God! Ah! Uh, yeah, you Zell, you might want to shut up and stick with holding your sword. Uh, <laughs> you see that? Uh, and like, okay. Yeah, the, he's he's like trying to kick you guys off, and you hold on to like his shoulders, and you hold onto the sword. Um, that finishes Alora's turn. Lucas, you're up. All right. First off, I. Would like to rage. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. And then I'd like to smack him with my dragon sword. Uh, first attack. Oh, oh, hell yes. I don't. I don't need. I don't even need advantage for that one. And then second attack. Oh damn! Oh my. God. Oh, damn. if, if okay. only. All right, so first attack, critical, and then also Divine Fury, which I'm gonna use as radiant damage for this one. <gasps> Beat his ass. So 10 slashing, eight fire, and eight radiant damage, which actually doubles to 16. Oh, it does double to 16 because it's a critical hit. And I can choose to go either Necrotic or Radiant, so ha, fuck you. Okay, the second and then the 28, it's just a regular attack, unfortunately. Uh, 12 points of damage in total. Um, right after Laura uh, dropped you off on the uh, 
shoulder of Bane. Um, you immediately just let loose with your dragon blade, <laughs> carving two hits directly into the side of his face. Uh, he's like bleeding um, and like uh, struggling to stay standing. Uh, you guys have to, it's, it's kind of like a, a, it is to play to that like God of War visual, um, like having trouble standing on top of him. Um, and yeah, anything else? Uh, let's see, let me. Uh, no, that should do it for now. All right. Uh, top of the round. Um, Bane. Because Zell and Lucas and Laura are standing on his shoulders, I need the boys to go and make me a wisdom save. If you want. Oh shit. Uh, I'm with the boys. Uh, nineteen. Wisdom save. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God, I, I, I'm I, lost in the sauce here. I'm stabbing him, and I, I don't notice anything. Luckily, uh, Zelron, you only take... Zelron, you take 13 Psychic. Uh, Lucas and Laura take 6. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, as part of his... Aura of Conquest of uh, you see that you are standing within, kind of like, uh, just like directly behind him, there's like a giant shadowy silhouette that kind of like follows his movement. Um, and as you kind of like stare at the shadow behind him, it uh, leers forward and kind of like drapes you in darkness, um, leaving your uh, mind kind of like with a headache right after it leaves. And then Bane is going to attempt to... Uh, <laughs> in this weird kind of like uh, both boys standing on his shoulder he's going to attempt to first strike Zelron and doing so kind of like striking his own shoulder so that is going to be so it's plus 19 so thank you for reminding me that definitely hits Zelron you take I don't remember what kind of force damage it is there we go it's literally right here. Line. 28 points of force damage. Oh, God! Alright, so can he, uh, in reaction to that, he wants to, uh, use absorb elements? It's not. Oh, actually. No, force is not considered an elemental type. Oh. Alright, well then. Alright, a hellish rebuke then. Deck oh, 16, please. You got it. Oh! Oh! Wait! No! He made—he made it. Yeah, he's just, yeah. Fuck! Damn it! Well, he takes half, I guess. Yep. Why yep. is my mouse doing this? Okay, there we go. Um, where the fuck is it? There it is. Uh, he takes five fire damage. Yeah, the fire hits the side of his face. He's gonna try and hit Lucas with his sword as well. Bring it on! Uh, definitely hit. Fuck. You are gonna take... But thankfully it's reduced! Wait, is it four? Oh, fuck. I'll Damn get. you, Carlo! I'll get, I'll get. Um, reaching over, strikes him around his shoulder. As he does, <laughs> fire hits his face. Uh, then he reaches over and hits Lucas with his sword. And then he's going to try and strike out towards Alora. Does that hit? Does that hit? 21. Alora's going to cast shield. Uh, that is going to... Can't move and get Adelaide or Freya because he doesn't want to take the booming damage. Is that sad? I think it is. And in any case, um, he also doesn't want to take... Well, it wouldn't be considered opportunity attacks if you moved, because you're technically on him, which means you'd be moving with him, which means you'd still be in your attack radius. Also, don't forget, he's gonna t if he moves, he's going to take that booming damage. I'm and he's still going to take us on his shoulders. I'm going to roll just a straight up d20. On an 11 or higher, he decides to move and take the damage from Booming Blade. On a 10 or lower, he's just gonna stick with it. 
you just gonna stay put. Um, I finish this Bane's go. Freya does the same thing, holding this bow of light. Um, grabs like thin air and pulls it towards the bow, and it turns into an arrow that she shoots out towards Bane, provoking a dexterity saving throw from him, which he fails on. He takes 41 points of radiant damage, doubled because he's vulnerable to radiance. I fucking okay. gotta stop dropping things, dude. <laughs> Can't mess around. There we go. Uh, causes this explosion in like his chest. Um, that finishes Freya's go. Adelaide, you're up. Zelda, you're on deck. Sorry, Freya's muted for a second. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. And he's still fairy fire, so... Oh! That's a nat 20 that oh, I got. Oh, hey. <laughs> So, 28 and a 14. 28. Okay. And one critical. 18 damage. 18 damage. Hell yeah. Um, kind of like following the fiery green silhouette, you uh, call out the, the point of the weakness in his armor, and striking into the chest, uh, he bleeds... Um, he kind of like leans forward. Zell and Lucas, you kind of like have to hold on as he does. Um, and then like, he <laughs> back up. Yeah, it's okay. We got our blades stuck in him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else? Uh, yep. Bonus action, Bardic Inspiration to Zelron, and then I'll end my turn. Gotcha. Finishing at least go, Zelron, you're up. Okay. So. Okay. So, all right. So, depending on these uh, attacks, I will probably heal. It would suck if I didn't heal. But hey, here we go. Uh, oh yeah. Oh damn. Cool. All right. So we got that. And as a bonus action, he is going to take a superior healing potion. And he's going full on Shadow of the Colossus where he's just going to take the sword out. Put it back in the same area. Just keep... You know. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, also being sheathed with the booming energy. Um. Now where's the fuck, where are the potions at? There they are. I'll, I'll, I'll calculate those, but I'm, I can't find them. Gotcha. Um, Never mind. Um, okay, and I think for his... Where exactly am I on his body? Uh, you are standing, like, directly on his left shoulder, um, looking up at his face. So he's going to use his movement a little bit. Well, actually, the wings of flying, because they are attuned to me, is it cost an action or a bonus action? Uh, no, it's just your, your movement. Okay, cool. So I can just, like, bring out my wings? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so for his movement, he'll just bring out his wings. And he's not going to do anything with them. Uh, but he is going to try to position himself higher, kind of climbing up. Just preparing his wings just in case if he needs to catch himself if he were to get flung off. So he is going to just crawl, climb up to his neck. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, climbing up, uh, you bring out your wings as well, um, finishing Zelron's turn, and Laura is going to, uh, let's see. uh, cool. so she points her staff at Lucas. Um, and you see that, uh, this, like, fiery red shield kind of, like, surrounds him, um, and you see just, like, yeah, uh, fiery, like, energy, um, and this bubble directly around Lucas, um, that does not harm him. Um, she says, let's see how much fun you have humming my students now. Um, that finishes Laura's go. Lucas, you're up. All right. Uh, bonus action, Rite of Storm on my Dragon Blade. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, and with that, I take three points of necrotic damage to myself. And you know what? That's totally fine and totally worth it. Uh, then I'm just going to smack him two more times with my sword. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, get, it, get, it cannot get better than that. Fair. Roll your damage. Let's see. Uh, I'm guessing just the nat 20 hits. Yeah. Okay, so. And then there is the Divine Fury, which doubles to 12 because. 15 slashing, 6 fire, 3 lightning, and 12 radiant damage. Which is interesting that I forgot to do earlier because he's vulnerable to radiant no. damage, so I should have been doubling it. Um, and oh, crap! Akira, I've been attacking. Oh god. Akira deals radiant damage as well. Fuck. 4. Whoa. Oh. 4, 6. Uh, Here, you don't have to calculate oh, yeah, mine because... until from now all the way up. Oh yeah, because Raps a Democ. Right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna add on some damage as well because I forgot to calculate the badge. That is my bad. I will just knock that down right now. And then and then you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go action surge. Okay. And do two more attacks. Uh no radiant no radiant damage on these because Divine Fury only does it for one attack, but still. Right. Oh shit. Oh, damn it! Nothing. Uh, so we're gonna miss. Um, you, as <laughs> he like, uh, like stands back up. You correct your standing and pull your sword back out. Bah, bah. It's uh, God of War fighting Hercules, and you have to like mash the circle over and over again. Bah, bah, bah. Uh, the second time you miss. Uh, that so explains Lucas in a nutshell. <laughs> Uh, anything else, Lucas? Uh, that should do it. Gotcha. Finishing Lucas's go on top of the round. Now it is Bane's turn. Um, I need the boys to make me a wisdom save. If you don't mind. Oh shit. Okay. Um, God damn go... it. Is that the same number that I had last time? Maybe. Uh, go with the 17 for me. I don't know why I double rolled. 17 success. Zelron failure, Alora failure as well. Um, so Zelron and Alora are going to take 14 psychic. Lucas, you take 7. <laughs> Suck it! <laughs> Alora's looking to hurt. Um, you see that Bane now is going to strike uh, once towards Zelron. I think oh wait, hang on. Is that uh? 19. Is that 19? Oh, plus, that's 23. Does now my? It's up to you. Shield gives you plus five. I would bring you uh, to 22. I 22, but I also have. Oh. Yeah, that's even if I rolled with um. That's even if I rolled like the best it could. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste it yet. I'm gonna wait until maybe the roll is a little lower. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, all right. Give me whatever you have. Okay, that's not bad. I I eat that shit for breakfast. Um, second attack at Lucas. Wait, hang on. He's gonna Dang. he's gonna use his re reaction. Oh, Deck sixteen. You got it. Take that, bitch. Full force. <laughs> the fire hits his jaw. Uh, then he attacks Lucas. Bring it on. 23 as well. Oh yeah, my that god. Old. This guy's rolling pretty shitty, but it's fine because it, you know, it balances out. Um, that 3d12 is 10. I forgot. Ah, oh, shit! I clicked too many times. 
Shard, your UI makes no goddamn sense. All right. Hey, it's better. It's better it's than, than roll, roll twenty. 20. Yeah. Twenty hundred percent. Ow. Ow. <laughs> hits Amora. Um. 19 plus 3 is, what, 22? 21. 21. Or, yeah, 22. 22. 22. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, so that hits. None of us can. Uh, I'm just going to say... 23 points. Amora... Oh, God. ...is going to get hurt. Um, and then, I'm going to roll again... She doesn't even have a yellow ring, a ring around her. She looks fine. I'm gonna roll again to see if Bane goes for the sisters. Um, on 11 or higher, he moves and is gonna take the booming blade damage. 10 or lower, you're good. Fucking Bane, man! Oh. What are you doing? Love, it's just. You Honestly, guys keep doing what you're doing. making it easy doing. for us. He's gonna yell out to the other two, to the uh, to the two girls back there. He's gonna say, "Just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, we're trying to keep him still." Will do. Stay safe up there. I'll I'll try. No promises. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Get off, man! Get off! Oh, <laughs> you're being mean. You literally are hitting me with your sword. What do you mean? Well, now we can both be Shut mean. Shut up and let us stab you. Shut up and let me stab you. That's oh, God. There's being evil. You have been stabbing me. You know. You know, if you miss us, you end up stabbing yourself, right? So you're kind of causing, you know, uh, badness to yourself. So you better hope you don't miss. You know, okay. oh, yeah. I know you're new to the war thing, but you don't critique your enemy's tactics, man. So rude. Hey, you got, oh, yeah, everybody you has, to, mess everybody with has them. Yeah, everybody has to learn something. I mean, you know, even the best of gods, you know, have flaws in their, uh, you know, techniques. Uh, you see, <laughs> he just kind of, like, shrugs. Um... But that finishes Bane's go because he doesn't want to move towards. He doesn't want to take the fucking blue blade damage. Uh, you know what? He's gonna make another. He's very scared. He has one more attack, so he's. Fuck. He's gonna use his last attack on Zoro. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right, go ahead, hit me with it. Okay. Um. Uh, wait, I have a bar. I hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have a bardic inspiration thing, right? Yes. Uh, that only works well, for attack rolls and saving throws. Okay, I'm gonna say in this moment we're gonna do something a little bit rule breaking right now. So, oh. what's the bardic inspiration die? Um, it's a d6. A d6. What are you using? Seventeen. Um, and I also have shield if I were to do that in time, but even then I would have to take But now I'm realizing that even if I took half damage, I'll still probably die because I am at 8 health So go ahead and do your oh, damage. Fuck. You don't, don't even need to Yeah Well, I uh, Take 8 points of damage Just hope he rolls all ones Even then, oh god Well no, because it's 3d12 Oh shit! Oh me! Oh my! Um. Okay, can you do one thing in his dying breath? Well, like, as he's falling off, he wants to whistle out for the dragons. But it come, it it kind of oh. just sounds for a second, for a tiny split second before he falls to the ground. But so depend. So it'll be up to you if the dragons do come or not. I made it so that you have any freedom. If you want them to come, they don't. You can. If you don't want them to come, you don't have to. Letting out this whistle as you fall. So make me a DC 15 acrobatics or athletics check. Ac acrobatics or athletics check. Oh no. Uh, now, uh, uh, oh, no. inspiration? In Bart yes. Bart yes, 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 yes. It does apply. 
Ah, shit. Okay, cool. Oh, oh no. Um, a four- Wait, well, yeah, did you say a four or higher? Oh, no! I'm gonna roll to see if he can catch oh. you. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're only, like, 20 feet in the air. It can't be that bad, right? Fall damage? Uh, if you're unconscious- You're unconscious. If you fall, I'm fairly certain that's one failed death save on you. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that that was a thing. Why didn't you tell me about this, Carlo? I, well, I, I could be wrong. Case. I could be wrong. Uh, or I'm right, but in this case, I f it doesn't look good either way. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll take what's coming. Yes. As you are shaking off, shake it off, you see he leans to his left and you fall to the ground. Um, and a dust cloud and smoke kind of like surrounds your body as you hit the ground into a crater. The sound of bricks. Um, now Pisces is going to arrive um, in the next round. He was not able to catch you because you rolled really shitty. But, um, that's good. Damn. Be, uh, that is one fail death save. Alrighty, here, yeah, let me go ahead and lower my HP. Alright, one failed. <laughs> Let's hope I don't die! Freya does the same thing, uh, pulls out her bow, uh, shoots an arrow towards Bane, provoking a dexterity saving throw. He succeeds, but he's still gonna take half of this, which is doubled, so it's kind of redundant to do that. Yeah. Radiant. <laughs> uh, strikes him in his chest. Uh, that finishes Freya's go, Adelaide, you're up. Okay, um, I'll head over and pop a potion of superior healing for Zelleron. So that's 27. God. And then... Zelleron's like, why'd you wake me? Oh, I wanted to die. I, I'm just you get to die later. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go ahead and Bardic Inspiration. Yeah, I'll just give it to Zelleron. <laughs> <laughs> I no freaking uh, Heller knows I need it. <laughs> That's it for me. Uh, Zelda, you're up. Wait, really? Oh, okay. So is he still like standing? Is the god still standing? Yes. Okay. Um, he wants to go. He wants to. It, okay, so he's gonna command his wings of flying to come out, and he wants to use his movement to jump back onto his neck. You won't get rid of me that easily! I ah! What the fuck? I, I, thought I literally just killed you. I did a whole thing. I never die, goddammit. I'm from hell. Oh, ah! oh oh, and he's gonna... Okay. <laughs> you have advantage because of fear. Oh, god. What? I think my computer is going haywire. Okay, there we go. Um, so what you guys Really now? Okay. He, no, he's, he's still safe. But All right. he goes under 100 feet. Awesome Oh sauce. my god. Alright, um... What is it? He is going to... Fuck. Um, I'm trying- Oh wait, don't forget to add the extra vulnerability damage from the Radiant. So yeah, each one's gonna be 8 Radiant instead of 4. Okay, so- oh, God damn, I don't- Um, okay, so yeah, he's just gonna do it. Uh, quick and spell. Wee wee. Alright, go for it. Oh. Okay, and they both. Oh my failed. god! Advantage, advantage, advantage. And you're inspired. Oh, oh my god, it's a net yeah. twenty. Uh, yeah, that, that hits full damage. This might put them under. So that's oh my god. twenty radiant. Holy shit! Eighteen, 18 plus twenty is thirty-eight. Mm-hmm. 
I'm sorry. He'd be so perfect. He'd be still alive. Wait, actually, uh, Sin, can I also, can I use my other Bardic Inspiration to try to bring that 19 up? Yes. You have yes. to roll a 4 You have to roll. Yeah. Okay, for the love of God, D6, please do not fail me. If you fail me, I will cry. <laughs> Alright, so I will not be doing that. And he's gonna say, Sorry, Adelaide, for wasting a damage die. You you go ahead and use it on someone else, because they're clearly, you know, they're really not letting me want to do it. it it'll so, work for you Shut someone up and stab the guy. <laughs> uh, and he's taking out his sword and he's just stabbing him. Uh, uh, Alright, yeah, and that's gonna be the end of his porn. Okay. Finishing Zelron's go. Laura is gonna go now. Um, she's gonna throw cold energy through Cone of Cold directly towards him, looking in Constitution saving throw, which he succeeds on, but she rolls, and he takes half out. Is, is he still standing? Still standing. Okay. Well, now I know what I'm going to do anyway. Kamehameha Blast, uh, but instead of the kind of the key energy, it's like ice. Um, and like freezes the side of his face. Um, and now you see that like half of his body is like frozen, encapsulated in ice. Um, and like keeps him from moving. Um, that finishes Alora's turn. Lucas, you're up. Look in the boots of haste. Bonus action. Let's go. I am la hasted. And then that means I get three attacks on this son of a bitch. Let's go. Okay. First attack. Yes. Nope. Second attack. Yep. Yes. Third attack. Nope. Damn it. Alright, well, like that's fine. Speak. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I rolled two nat 20s anyway, so this is fair, this is fair. Okay, so the one attack does 18 damage plus 14 radiant. 14 radiant? Lucas. Well, the seven, big, but it's double. Oh my god. Finish the job. Yay! Hey. So... Lucas, while being on uh, hit on this guy's shoulder and having stabbed into this guy only like a few times, he is just going to look to Zarin and Alora after clicking the boots of haste and be like, "If this be like, watch this," and. He's just going to stab his sword into, like, the neck of Bane. Like, kick himself off while still holding onto his sword and drag it down as he's falling back towards the ground and landing. He's falling along with uh, this giant. <laughs> Dude, you have your wings of flying out. Yeah, but it, it was so sudden, he just flips them out and then, boom. <laughs> just stay up uh, in the air. Um, the god falls, and the city guard, you see that uh, horn is blown in um, celebration of the success and victory of the battle. And the battle is over. We are out of initiative. Um, so Lucas is going to start by turning over to, uh, the fallen god, and we said that this guy had, like, a giant-ass sword on him? Yeah. Uh, Lucas is going, like, how big of a sword are we talking about? Like, is, like, taller, t as tall as, like, us, or, like, twice as tall? Like, what are we talking here? It's honestly... 
I would say like yeah like twice as tall um, it's probably like 20 feet long mm. so Lucas is going to look at the sword kind of think back to like his dad's adventuring days here where his dad would just like occasionally just steal the swords of his enemies and he's going to try and use his strength to break the sword to a better length to sort of fit him and then stick it in the bag holding Wait, can, can I can I kind of go against that and I want to kind of interject he's going to yell out and he's going to say dibs or hey the, hey, the fucker who kills him gets the reward. Fuck off. Boy, it's friends. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah, you're dead. Sorry. Poking him in the face. But get me! <laughs> tell As you he's what, trying you to, like... Tell, tell you what. what. Uh... Like, I'm not gonna be able to take the entire sword here, so... If I break it, we each get half, but I get the one with the handle. Deal! I could use that metal. And then as he's getting up and he's trying to, like, rush over, he immediately, like, like I guess, didn't see a part of the gods, like, one of his accessories. Um, he immediately just just trips over and he's just like, Oh! 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 But, yeah, no. I still want to do that, though. Lucas, you run over to the sword, you cut it to a length that fits you, um, kind of like carving enough of the uh, metal of the blade, um, and you have the Sword of Bane. Um, it uses your strength modifier um, and deals 3d12 plus 10 force damage. God damn. You're going to regret yeah, giving him that, you know. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, stashes that in the bag of holding. Or, no, actually, I'm going to stash the broken half in the bag of holding for Zelrin, and I'm going to stick the other one just right on my back. Okay. All right, Trunks. <laughs> nah, more like Cloud, because this thing's pretty much more like a great sword. Yeah, these things is fucking massive, so yeah. He is the Strife Emperor. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, right. <laughs> is I bet a hundred percent. I bet that uh, Lucas even cut it to where it's like a diagonal, and it actually looks kind of like a. Yep. 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 <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Looks towards Adelaide and uh, her sister, and like. You want to get some of this loot? Uh, you know, I'm good. I think you guys have it covered. It tastes like metal. You're eating it? No. Honestly, that's I not kinda, the weirdest thing I've heard. I kind of did. I've actually, I've actually met a guy who has done that before. Ugh, sounds like an absolute weirdo. But, uh, I, uh, I didn't eat it. I'm more like I fell and I tripped... And I, my head landed on some. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, by, by the way, Zell, I got your share in the bag of holding. Really? Yeah. Thank you. I will be using That's the good. metal for very useful purposes. Yeah, no, Do I you got your back, bro. Probably. The guy oh, fell twice. So. Anyway, we killed a god. Who's ready to take a nap? Ready to drink. Uh, my head... Uh, I think it could use some healing. And so, alcohol is the best place to heal the brain. Or sleep. No, or sleep. I will sleep afterwards. I just killed a god. I'm going to celebrate. Alright. Well, we killed a god. I'm sorry. We killed a god. And no thanks to that damned, that God's blessing. I don't even see how the, any of that came into play. 
Yeah, shield. Do you not have your wings out right now? These are mine. You can see these are mine. Oh, you, okay. you can tell he's trying to like turn around and look at them, but can't. Well, if you, if you didn't have those already, it still would have been very useful. Did you guys even use yours? No, I'm always at a distance. Mm -hmm. Then what was the purpose of this God's blessing? Okay, this is what I'm talking about. All it's, these gods are the same. It's not just about the blessing, okay? It's about the fact we have just another ally on our side, you know. Fair, yeah. Okay. Okay, you got me. Honestly, probably would be a good idea to get maybe one or two more as well, because, I mean... Well, I think we have about 11 more to get. Well... I mean, we don't necessarily have to get all the gods on our side. I mean, just... Maybe the ones that maybe haven't really been talked to by some of the other heroes of this place. Like, I mean, yeah, we got Saren Ray and Saren Ray to help us, and Mistra's at least not going to kill us. That's good. But, I mean, there's also, like, several other gods that have granted favors before, which, if that's the case, and they're, for lack of, I mean, they're people are still out here, which as far as I know, most of them are. Uh, then we just can check them off the list for the most part and like maybe take care of the ones that haven't talked to adventurers before. Like, I, I mean, mi yeah. like, I mean, there's like, we already like, uh, and Lucas is going to like try and remember the names of like the I'm trying to remember the names of the gods that uh, have not talked to adventures before. Like, um, so do you want me to like make a roll for that, or do you just want me to role play this right now? Because uh, I do have the list in my hands. Go ahead and roll a religion check. Oh, okay. Holy shit! I have proficiency with it for some reason. Moving on. Hey, that's that's okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, you you know the names of these gods, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, and I know and I know which gods have talked and like given their blessings to adventurers before, right? Yes. Other than Saren Ray. Yeah, so he's like, so yeah, no, uh, Saren Ray, Pelor, uh, and Ayun, I know have given their blessings. Uh, Melora, maybe I don't know 100 percent actually. Now that I think about it. But I mean, and then, and then, yeah, no, then there's the Raven Queen. But then again, we just talked to her champion, so she's kind of off the table anyway. Uh, let's see. I know Bahamut hasn't been talked to yet. Uh, the opposite of Tiamat, which. Oh, wait, those are, those are both. He just kind of thinks for a sec after saying Bahamut and Tiamat, he's like. Both of those are dragons. That actually might be useful. That actually might be useful. Um, well, problem. Um, well, you see, with back when we were in Vasselheim, uh, I back when we were getting holy water, you know, for that place. That oh, time, you pissed off! I, the what did I you do? I may or may not have insulted their god in front of them. You but insulted the god wasn't Bahamut. There. I was just, yeah, and I, I kind of was just like, fuck Bahamut, and uh, so uh, I hope he didn't okay. hear that. You can, we can, we can go to him, but I, uh, I don't know if he'll want to, you know, help us out. Maybe put him on the bottom of the list. Yeah. I'd rather put him at the, no, but how about we put him in the middle? That's if he heard us, so I don't know if he did, uh, and if they try to. You. Yeah. More, yeah you more than us. Anyway, so. There's Bahamut, the Platinum Dragon. There's Evandra, the Changebringer. I know. I don't think she's been talked to yet. Uh, there's Corellian, the Archheart. There's Arathis, the Lawbearer. Uh, there's the Storm Guy, Cord. Oh, we know Cord, so we can go him. Put we can put him at the top of the list. Well, we don't know okay. Cord, but uh, I know. Well, like, like. like uh, what was his? What was uh, Lou's character's name again? I forget. Stamos. Uh, Stamos. No, not no, not 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 Stamos. I mean, uh, the, the son oh. or 
or, yeah. Oh. Kid. Fen. Fen, yeah, Fen. Uh, so, we can put him at the top of the list because Fen, we, we have a connection, like, our family has sort of, uh, history with Cord, so we can yeah. put him at the top. So, yeah, no, a so, yeah, after Cord, there's the Allhammer, Morden, and then, then there's the Moonweaver. Uh, don't actually bother having me pronounce her name because honestly, I don't know how the fuck to pronounce it anyway. But yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five. There's like six gods that have not had any champions currently, as far as I know. So, I guess take your pick. Uh, I choose Bahamut. I choose Cord, because that one will be less. That one will be easier to uh, reason with. If you and already I... have connections with him, then yeah, we may as well start yeah. with him. And I've kind of had some Dragon S connection before, but anyway, that's a whole other thing. But so yeah, Cord and Bahamut. Um... And I mean, you're and then kind of looks to uh, Adelaide and's like, you're kind of already picked by Mistra, so I don't know how that's gonna go if we grab anyone else. Maybe I don't know. Well, we're not trying to get new patrons here. It's just you know allies. That's fair. That's fair. Well, so yeah, we got, so yeah, Cord, Bahamut, do we think any of the others might be maybe a little bit useful? Yep, yeah. uh, you know, we have the ones that we've picked out now, it just goes, we have to go about assembling them. Mm, that's a fair point. All right, so we just got to figure out where Cord and Bahamut are. Well, we have an idea of where Baham Bahamut is, but as for Cord, I don't know. Um, if we can't figure out a way to track or find out where he is, then we can ask my mom. She probably might know where where he is. Mm. Well, I know we said that Bahamut might be at the bottom of the list because ain't because. Uh, Sorry, not Angel. Because Zell here is a bit of an idiot. But if we have an idea on where Bahamut is, maybe that's our next stop. Yeah, we just put him in the back of the group and it'll be fine. Probably get noticed. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, it'd probably be best if I didn't, like, you know, if I just, like, waited outside. Just in case of, yeah. you know, they might get PTSD from seeing me. Why did you even talk shit about their god to begin with? Because they were so reluctant, they charged you all this money to get all this holy water, and it was for nothing. It was for a lot of holy water. Yeah, so, yeah, we're, we, we were saving them, so they didn't need to charge us. And now they are safe, their asses are saved, and look at that, they didn't even have to lose anything, just a little bit. They can always make more, they can always bless some more. Yeah, I don't really see this as saving them, and more as making sure we didn't spend anything. And also, well, I wouldn't really say they're safe. I mean, I wouldn't really say they're safe either. The Betrayer Guards are here in the mortal plane. Well, yeah, fair, but also, uh, they aren't being o Well, we saved them from overrunning of demons. So, I mean, you know, potato, tomato. I mean, we, we stopped one threat, another threat came to fill in its place, so... All right, let's go. Let's go find the platinum dragon. <laughs> All right. Um, Laura like nods, uh, and you see that she uh, points her staff forward, and she projects a map of Wild Mountain once again, uh, and she gets a ping on the western side of the Menagerie Coast, um, and she you see she says, "Okay, strange." Um, it looks like uh, 
Muhammad is on the western side of the continent as well. It looks like uh, he is helping set up for the fight against Tiamat. Tiamat hasn't arrived quite yet, but um, Muhammad and his followers are over there. Shall I uh, teleport to us, or do we want to rest first? We'll just do a little pop in, talk to him, maybe help him with the Tiamat thing, pop out, and then we'll just take care of the and then we'll take care of Asmodeus, because I really want to kick his ass. Uh, you see she nods. I'm like, all right, well, uh, to Port de Mali, here we go. She points her staff, and red magic energy surrounds you guys. She teleports you guys over to the Port de Mali. Um, as you guys arrive, uh, typical port city, um, the smell of uh, salty seawater. Um, you see boats are there on the kind of like dock. Uh, people moving to and fro, getting ready for the attack by Tiamat. Um, on the western end of the city, um, you see there he is, the platinum dragon, um, who kind of like uh, looks down and oversees the city. Uh, is talking to some of the soldiers here. Um, and you guys approach, um, and you see Bahamut looks down at all of you guys and is like, Ah, brave adventurers. Mistra told me I might be coming into contact with you. How may I be of assistance? Hey, uh, one thing. Uh, I think, is anybody else here that probably yeah. was a little... Okay. Yeah, it kind of, it cuts out at every in and out. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me change my no, that, Yeah, no, that's happened. To, that's been happening a little bit since I walked in. Shit, I'm sorry. Um, oh, you're yeah, good. You're good. Change my settings real quick. It was very mild from the beginning. It's just only now starting to pick up like back to back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing my Discord green thing like only comes on, like. It's. Wow. Try turning down a uh, noise suppression. Maybe that's like it's detecting. You know, the silence. Maybe you're in like full silence or something like that. Hold up. Hello? What the? Hello? Hello? Hi. Just make like one continuous sound to see if it's like gonna cut out if it if you did fix it. Uh... <laughs> Wait, I did change my five. Wait. Uh... <laughs> Wait, do that again. Uh... <laughs> it... I mean, I think that's better. Yeah, because I mean, I didn't hear any like. Maybe I'll just like scoot closer to my mic. I don't know. Oh no, it's back. Never mind. Fuck. Yeah, maybe you. <laughs> no, did, maybe yeah, maybe try scooting up close to the mic a little bit. Uh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Actually, if I turn that down, I think it actually might work. All right, I'm gonna hold my mic like a stand-up comedian. Fuck. Oh no. Yeah. Damn. God damn. This I think place. that's just probably like uh, just in and out, I guess. All right, give me one second. Take your time. Take your time. We're not going anywhere. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Da -da 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 -da. Good times. Hello? Hello. Hi, welcome. Okay, so my green thing is just never gonna turn off now. I hope that works. Ah, it works! I hear it! Oh, well, I mean, it's not, It's it, it seems to have stopped. Nice. Okay, so 
Remind me what I described last. <laughs> uh, Bahamut was looking over Bahamut. us, and he said, hey, what's up, fuckers? Yeah, you guys walk up to where Bahamut is resting. Uh, he looks down, he's like, how can I be evade? Zelron did stay back, like he didn't even go into yeah. the view of him. He, he, like, yeah, Lucas of... is Lucas gonna it, Lucas is probably gonna be more towards the front. And goes, um, first off, uh, hi, I guess. It just kind of looks to Adelaide and is like, hey, can you give me some pointers on how to talk to a god here? Um, yeah, so. We are in alliance currently with Mistra and, um, what was the second goddess's name? Saren Ray. Saren Ray. Saren Ray. And we're seeking more allies to face against the, you know, gods that are currently attacking our world. And we'd like your assistance. Uh, you see Bahamut kind of, like, nods at this. And is like, right, um, of course. Any friend of Saren Ray and a friend of Mistress is a friend of mine. Um, so he uh, uh, like holds out his wings, um, and you see that he looks down, um, and uh, he opens his mouth as if to roar, uh, but instead lets out kind of like a gentle melody um, that kind of like surrounds you guys in sound waves, um, and you see um as you guys kind of like close your eyes surrounded by these sound waves um you guys open your eyes and you see that as you look around you see like uh like an endless sea of stars like all around you and you see these kind of like strange kind of like uh, creatures that float directly in front of your face um as you all have 30 feet of true sight, and you have this ability, which I will try and drop. Hold up. Oh, shit. Hold up. I'll send this in the Discord as well. Um, but yeah, you open your eyes and. Oh, you... hell yes! <laughs> uh, you can. You look around and you see just yeah, a sea of stars and strange kind of like fish creatures as you have true sight for 30 feet. And um, you've got this epic breath weapon ability now. Um, true dragon... sight. <laughs> dragon looks down at you guys. And, um, yeah, he looks and goes, Now, if there's anything else I can do to be of assistance, do not hesitate to ask. Lucas is just going to lean a little bit towards Alora and is going to be like, Kima is going to be so jealous about this. I would probably advise you not to tell her because she'll probably, she literally will probably find him and ask him, you know, to have that power too, so I don't it's gonna be a whole thing about it, so just don't, just. Shh. Yeah, no, okay, so, yeah, no, but at this, but when that kind of probably gets to a point, the fine gate's probably gonna get fixed, and then next thing, then it's gonna be kind of a little more difficult at that point, which. But I mean, come on, it's Kima we're talking about. Worst case, the best case scenario, she's. Well, I don't know about you, but she's probably gonna smack me with a hammer. She'll probably smack me too. I mean, just because I'm the wife is. Dead. I do not get immunity to her. You know, just. Just keep it on the low end. No. <laughs> no, no, no promises. Uh, turns to Bahamut and is like. We. We appreciate you being so. For lack of better words, I guess, quick with your decision. I mean, to be fair, I've heard, like, a good 
deal about you. Like, I mean, uh, to be all things to be fair, uh, I'm not really a holy person or a god worshiper in any circumstance, but uh, points to Allura. Her wife, Lady Kima of Ord, is one of your mighty followers and has and has been one of the people to kind of talk to me a little bit more about the religions here and you being one of them because like I said she's one of your followers and probably one of your most devout followers um, she's also very terrifying in her own right yeah she is I mean she she's an intelligent woman she is also a woman of grace and strength I would advise you not to cross her she is one of my strongest followers I am proud of how far she has come. That being said, if I don't give her this same blessing, she's also probably gonna... Oh my god, but she'll probably come for me too and she'll kill me, so I... But anyway. It's like, damn, is everyone terrified of Kima? I am, at least. I don't know if that's a common thing. This kind of looks to the other Bahamut followers as like, Raise your hands if you guys know who Lady Kima of Vord is. Show of hands, please, out of curiosity. Like 10 to 20. Alright, now keep your hands up if you're actually terrified of her. The hands are mean in the air. Huh. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> um... Looks to Bahamut and is like, I will do my best not to piss her off, but I hold no promises, as I am sometimes an idiot. You can ask my sister. That's all right. Um... She, yeah, she like she, my sister's also not really a holy person either, but she also kind of has this sort of uh, dragon-like abilities as well. Um, I don't know how much about that you kind of understand because you know divine gate, all that other fuckery. I don't know. Would like to. I mean, her abilities sound interesting. So, if at any point she wants to um, do any studying, I'm sure any of my followers or Kima would be happy to grant information, as well as myself. I will keep that in mind. But either way, um, now that being said, Ed, give me one more sec. Kind of turns to the party and is like. So yeah, now at this point we're in agreement to help this guy take down Tiamat, right? Because like, or do we just want to move on to a different god, like Asmodeus? Um, we're probably set to go. Go as in go and help fight. Tiamat, or like goes and go to a different god like Asmodeus? Uh, fight Tiamat. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I can go either way, but like I said, me and Zell kind of have history with Asmodeus, me more so than maybe him. Like, Asmodeus used to be the ruler of hell before the guy that's there now. Um, I know I probably have said this a little bit before, but uh, when my dad was here in Exandria, he kind of made a pact with Asmodeus uh, but the pact kind of was part of the agreement was that so long as Asmodeus didn't really try and do anything harmful to the party like my dad would still kind of be they kind of be like under his condition and then like some stuff happened Asmodeus attacked the party my dad got pissed he eventually broke the pact but and then my dad his mom and Fens, who's not the fuck here's dad and like maybe one or two others and Crystalina uh, banished him beyond the divine gates and now he's back so yeah no don't get me wrong there's like plenty of other gods out here to kill right now but part of me really wants to smack the shit out of Asmodeus considering your history with him I'll follow your lead uh, so, what about you? Tiamat or Asmodeus? 
Dell is still behind. Like he he never came. He was he like he didn't go oh, near. Oh no Bahamut. no we're, we're, oh, we're, yeah, yeah we're, no we're, like I like I walked away from Bahamut for this conversation. I, like, like like so you so, walked like like. Okay, so now just to put it into perspective, Zell is not in the line of sight of Bahamut. He's like he's put it this much... way: we're not put it put it this way: we're not in earshot. So, uh, and we're not like trying to put f focus on Bahamut, but we're still like within Port Damali. Oh yeah, no, I know that. Uh, okay. All right, well, so, I yeah, guess no. he'll, he'll just say out like just call out and say, uh, um, I. Depending on where Cord is, I would like to get his help too. We get we can ask we can ask Bahamut if he knows. Uh you can. And he pops his head back. But I mean in terms of god killing, what do you think? Tiamat or Asmodeus? Uh I have a score to settle with uh with Asmodeus, so uh, I would like to go after him first. But if it's more convenient to stay here and fight her and I, uh, that's fine too. Yeah, that's a fair point. Kind of looks to Laura and is like, "What do you think, honestly?" Laura looks and she says, "Well, um, we are considering the uh, things that happened. We are already in the city. Um, we don't know when Tiamat is going to arrive. Um, that being said." Um, the forces in Zadash have been holding Asmodeus outside of the city gates for probably at least a week. Um, you know, but we are already here. It just depends on, you know, what my opinion is, is I think, um, you know, heading to Zadash and help, helping fight the Lord of the Hells first would be my thing, but I'm also not, like, stuck on it. I'm not married to that idea. No, you're married to Kima. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back then. Uh, makes way back to Bahamut and it's like... So... A couple of things. Sorry, I'm not 100% used to talking to gods that are actually kind of friends. Like, originally we weren't on really good terms with Mistra. Um... But either way, so I know that you're eventually going to be fighting off against Tiamat whenever she decides to show up, but we, my friends and I kind of right now have a score to settle with the ex-lord of the Hells, Asmodeus. So we might decide, we might pop out to deal with that, and then whenever Tiamat shows up, uh, we can pop back over here and help you with that because, you know, good favor, good favor for a good favor. You know, we don't want to be a, it's just a bunch of people that show up, be like, hey, give us some cool powers and then just dip and never seen again, you know? Right. Understandable. Um, well. Uh, yeah. And then also, um, you wouldn't happen to know where the storm, Lord, the, the storm guy cord is, right? looks and says to my understanding um cord at the moment is uh in a city north of rexentrum um helping uh, prepare for a fight against the archlich vecna um vecna hasn't arrived in the city uh, quite yet but that's at least if he hasn't moved okay. or gone somewhere else uh, perfect. Awesome. Uh, we're eventually going to talk to him, maybe after Asmodeus and maybe after Tiamat, but definitely after both of them, just maybe not necessarily in that order, but you know. Uh, either way, uh, good to know. Uh, we appreciate your cooperation. Uh, like I said, if whenever Tiamat shows up, let us know. We'll come help kick her ass. Wait, she has... If she has five heads, she... you know what? Never mind. The physics don't really um, make a lot of sense. They, 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 it's... No, no. Um, I, 
not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad you have one head right now because that may be a little weird. If like she, she's supposedly like queen of dragons. She has five heads. You're like, I don't know, king of dragons. Yeah. And have one head. One might call me the dragon king, you know. So um, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. But also, um, thank you very much for your blessing, and I guess thank you for making sure. Kima was a part of your order, I guess, because I mean, I, I mean, she probably would have found some other way to be as terrifying as she is now. But uh, see, I don't know. Bahamut nods. It's like, oh, of course, anything to help the denizens of this world is something that I will do. Um, of course, if you ever need. Oh it, no, I'm, I'm not a denizen of this world. I, you could almost say I'm like a. Tourist, I guess. Uh, oh. If Tiamat hasn't prayed to you to kind of explain the situation, then you m might not. Right. I, I guess I could let her kind of explain it a little more when whenever she sees you. Um, also, tell her we said hi and that um, Alora is alive, so don't try and kill me. Right. I will let her know. Um... No, sorry to make you a messenger right now, but you're probably the one, like, reliability of trying to figure out where she's going to be because I mean if you're a follower of a god and like the gods you said show up on the material plane but like you're not just going to stay at home and be like eh I'll see him like maybe in a month or two no you're just going to want to immediately go see the god and be like N -n -n so then like down the road when you're like telling stories you can be like yeah no I met the platinum dragon right well Kima is currently out on task right now um but Anyway, best of luck in Zadash. And yeah, no, just tell her that we're alive, we're doing good, uh, we're gonna go kick Asmodeus' ass. Okay. We'll do. Okay. Once again, thank you so much. Uh, just kind of is like, this like kind of stuttering over himself as he's like walking backwards uh, and is like, and then actually walks forward a little bit and is like, oh yeah, um, also. One of my friends might have pissed off a couple of members of your order. He didn't really mean it 100%. What? Um, what? Oh, okay, okay, what okay. Wait. Not... Okay, not, like, severely pissed off. He just made a stupid decision, and I would like to apologize on his behalf. Um, I will make things right in that category, because uh, I'm going to be... Because, like, when this is all over, I'm going to be maybe visiting Vasselheim a little more often, because I plan on, like... Spending some time in Pyra with the Fire Ashari, uh, I actually got to return this dragon sword to uh, Sir Conus's daughter after we kind of saved her life, and I had to like temporarily borrow it for this whole thing. Well, so know that some some things are said. He regrets his decisions, and I definitely regret that he made those decisions. And I plan on making amenities for his sake as soon as this whole crisis is over. Right. Well, apology accepted. And tell him no hard feelings. Um, if he is still holding on to, you know, regret for that, you know, I'm not. So as, as long as there is, you know, no leftover anger on this friend's part, then none of mine. No, no, no. He he totally regrets. He totally regrets what he did. Um, yeah, no. I appreciate that. I will let him know. But I mean, if I mean, if he, I mean, if he ever, I mean, if he ever does actually like confront you, um, his name's Zelrun. He's one, he's the prince of the layer of dis. Um, but I mean, just to maybe, but maybe just to mess with him a little bit. Uh, maybe like act maybe a little bit of piss like you heard and were like very disappointed for like 10 minutes or so uh, you see first of all my headphones just died so you guys might hear a double up on the audio on discord yeah no I did fuck damn it shit it just <laughs> give him a fucking Zell's dick size why don't you <laughs> yeah that yeah, yeah. To give him away, all, you dox the guy. Come on. <laughs> oh, and you wouldn't do the same. 
If I know that I'm angry, that, that not, a god is angry with me, I'd be like, hey, okay, yeah, so his name is you, Lucas Tenjiro. He lives in Haven Ark. He has a sister, so don't threaten her. Uh, <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, no. Hello? Hello? Instead, you. I didn't. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. All right, out of, that that was out of character, by the way. And then, yeah, no, yeah, no I know, I know, I know. Cause, yeah, no, because Zelrin can't hear shit right now. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sorry about that. I think you got it fixed. I think so. My mic just might. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I didn't hear any echo, so I think we're good there. I just might. I might just like cut in and out again. So. Uh no. Yep. Dude, you need to you need to get like a set of gamer headphones like me and Angel. Dude. Yeah, I got the Black Shark Razor X or whatever the hell they're called, and they were like thirty bucks, forty bucks. I literally. They're really. All right. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Um... Dude, these were actually these. I think were probably cheaper than most, but the, like these have been my headphones for like since like mid dawn of fractured memory. Fair enough. Um. All right. Uh. Jesus Christ, Discord, please. Okay. Um, so you see Muhammad like, nods to you, um, and you start walking away. Um, so where do you guys head to next? Uh, first off, I'm going to walk away after, like, talking with Muhammad. I'm going to turn over to, like, go to the party, and I'm like, okay, so I got some good news, and I've got maybe some bad news. Bad news first. Uh, bad news is that uh, Bahamut might have just it might still be it might have like casually seen Zelrin in this like still maybe a little PO'd. Like I didn't say like anything. How mad? I, didn't, I, I I mean like most of. Our conversations were about how terrifying Kima was, so I'm not 100% certain. So let's just hope we don't see Kima with a giant hammer smacking you, for one, while we're out. But either way, uh, good news is uh, I know where Cord is. Um, apparently, Cord is over in Zadash prepping an army or something to fight off against Vecna. Rex and Trump. Above, like, somewhere near there. Yeah, yeah. I, th I thought he said Zadash. Zadash is where uh, Asmodeus is, right? Oh, okay, so yeah. Somewhere north of Rex and Trump, uh, Kord is setting up an army to face off against the Whispered One. Whisper of Winter. <laughs> Whispered one of winter, yeah. <laughs> but, so, yeah. Um, also, how is it that almost every member of Bahamut's religion knows who Kima is? And is terrified of her? Like, does she just go to every, like, holy house of Bahamut and be like, Hey, I'm Lady Kima of Vord. Uh, don't piss me off or I'll kill you. You see, Alora goes like, honestly, something like that wouldn't be out of character for her. Okay. Um. So yeah, no, I know where Bahamut is, or not, not Bahamut. I know where Cord is, somewhere north of Rakenshim. Um. So we got that done. Uh, I told Bahamut that we'd be coming back to help with Tiamat whenever she decides to show up. Uh. Apparently, Vecna hasn't actually shown up quite yet, so I think we got a little bit of time there. But, yeah, no, we should probably help do with Asmodeus, because that guy's been around for a week, and I and we haven't tried to kick his ass yet. Uh, Zelron is going to eventually kind of poke his head out of the bushes, and he's going to say, So, how'd it go? Did you get the blessings? Yeah, we're good. Um, okay, cool. 
Also, right now you got like a bunch of like weird things like flying around you right now. Like Adelaide, you're seeing this too, right? Oh yeah, some sort of bug or bug? Where? Or like some sort of spirit? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Shit. And then he's gonna shoot a firebolt. Boom. <laughs> And he's just kind of, like, launching them everywhere, just trying to get them. I like the idea that Adelaide and Lucas are the only one with Bahamut's blessing, and we're just messing with him because of the true sight. <laughs> and he's going to take out Akira, and he's just... Ugh, uh, 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 uh. What do you mean? <laughs> wow, this is actually kind of amusing, but a little weird. <laughs> All right, are let's they still go there? with... No, no, I think you're fine. Enough. All right. Also, gonna kind of lean towards to Adelaide and like whispers. By the way, I was kind of lying about the whole Bahamut being pissed thing. As far as I'm concerned, he never really knew. Oh, but like, we're not gonna tell him cool. that. That's sad. a bit twisted. And he's yeah, gonna find the fucker the that had Drakeon killed. And then he he comes oh. out of the bush. He's, he's gonna be like, "All right, what are you two whispering about?" Uh, no, it's, we're just kind of trying to figure out how the whole blessing thing works. And he's gonna look to Adelaide. Hmm. What are you pointing at? Okay, uh huh. You anyway, um, anyway, what kind of ready cool to face <laughs> off? What cool abilities? Do um, you get? well, we can see stuff, I guess. Uh, Bahamut said something about tr it, some sort of like true sight, I guess, or something like that. What's a true sight? I have no idea, but honestly, I it, it, as soon as like he kind of blessed us, I felt like I was like hallucinating continuously, like even right now. M like, maybe not too much right now, but you know. You, you gotta lay off the. You gotta lay off the. You know. Okay, I haven't touched anything like that since. <laughs> since my last trip to hell. Okay, fuck off. Anyway, um... Anyway, the rest... You know what? I think you'll get a chance to see. Cool. Anyway, right. um... So, uh... Also, yeah. Do you know that almost everyone in the Platinum Dragon's religion knows who Kima is? Who's Kima again? Laura's wife, you know, kill Wait, Laura, Laura, she's had gonna a... come and kill you. Laura had a wife? She has I... a wife. Yes. Even I didn't know that. Oh, well, still, huh. I probably should have brought it up sooner. Well, uh, uh, congratulations. When we were first in Zadash, we were all together. Kima showed up and was like, hey, I'm Lady Kima, uh, Laura's wife, kill her and I'll kill you. Honestly, oh, we were all... Yeah. We were, I was kind of, you know relishing my victory of, over that uh, giant, so uh, I wasn't really paying yeah, attention. Yeah. Wow, and I thought I issues. was terrible sometimes. I forgot about that. Victory okay, so, so yeah, wrong. no. Alora's wife is Lady Kima of Vord. She's a paladin of the Platinum Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, terrifies just about everyone in that order, and I'm guessing everyone in the Platinum Sanctuary. Platinum Sanctuary? Uh, and... house of bahamut in you know what oh how that's the that place I'm... where i that's the place yeah, where i yeah oh yeah well uh hey you don't have to worry about the demons yeah and if kima finds out that you started shit there she's probably going to be more terrifying than bahamut at this point because even he's a little terrified of her it kind of looks to Laura's like maybe not best to tell kima that though yeah i would keep that on the down low honestly and oh. also, you were, yeah, because also you may have been kind of right about the whole, if we tell Kima about 
the blessing thing, she is go definitely going to try and hunt down uh, Bahamut to make sure she gets... By the way, she's doing great. She's, like, out on... A quad. You probably know this already, but still, it seems like she's doing great. Uh, I told Bahamut that if he sees her, to let him know that we're still alive and we're still doing good, you know? Right. Uh, Zadash? Zadash. At least now we don't have to deal with the Drake on there. Thank Jeeps. Well, at least that Drake on. Um, you guys see that Allura uh, um, teleports you guys to Zadash. Um, again, triangular city. Um, the death of Drakeon kind of like hangs over some of the Excalibur employees. Um, but most of them are kind of just uh, helping in, in keeping the Lord of the Hells outside the city. As you guys arrive, um, you see that there is just a constant string of soldiers that are directly uh, outside the front gate. Um, archers sit along the top of the wall, shooting down towards the Lord of the Hells and his uh, dev uh, demonic followers. Um, and Zelron, you see Asmodeus. You've heard stories of him um, from it, your mother. He dipped. Also, uh, so yeah, when he comes back... Yeah, no, that's what I just said. He dipped. I know, I'm just commenting on the fact that he's gone. That's all. What's up? <laughs> um, so, also, with the Breath of Justice, uh, is it an action to use, or is it like an a, like one attack to use? Because I know like with some of the Dragonborn rules, because of Fizzpans, like breath weapon stuff has kind of changed a little bit depending on what variation you use. Uh, it is an action to use, and it also um, oh. recharges on the long rest. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, you see soldiers directly uh outside the front gate um holding back the lord of the hells um and yeah you guys arrive uh, here in the city um what is the first thing you guys do when you get there um lucius is going to like kind of peer over the ramparts to kind of like take a look and is like huh so that's Asmodeus. Um, you hear just like the, the shouts of soldiers as they are pushed to the side. Um, and you just hear the kind of like demonic cackling. Um, as even though he is kind of like this prideful demon lord, can't burst into the city. Can't break through the kind of like front gate. Um... And yeah, you see he's uh, kind of like hovering there. Um, he's wearing kind of like a two-piece suit. Um, despite being a, a demon, um, it seems like he has put on kind of like a, a uh, kind of like humanoid looking guys. Um, he still has like the curling ram's horns on top of his head. And he's definitely, um, he is holding what looks to be some kind of like uh, refashioned uh, ruby rod. <laughs> So, so, Lucas, like, after that, Lucas is just gonna, like I said, Lucas kind of peers up, pops back out, looks to party, and is like, you know, honestly, I thought he'd be more, I thought, I kind of honestly thought he'd be different. I don't know why. Well, that looks to be like a, a fake, uh, oh, uh, okay, quick question, uh, Back to my time in hell, do I remember what his true form looked like? Yes. Um, your mother told you stories of, of Asmodeus. Um, his true form, yeah, is like a... a... Yeah, babe. Well, like, have I seen his true form, like, in person? Oh, not in person. Okay. Um, but yeah, you see that... Um, Laura rushes forth to join some of the armies here, um, fighting against some of these demons. Um, do you think you guys would be fighting against the armies, or would you rush up to Asmodeus himself? We need another thing on our plate, so I think we would just rush to Asmodeus. 
Plus, is yeah. is starting to feel a little, you know... He's starting to just feel like, oh, alright, I need to deal with this guy. Hell yeah. Uh, you rush forth. Uh, Laura's gonna hang back and deal with some of the demons and devils. Um, helping some of the knights and mages. Um, you see a... Uh, at the center of the city, there is this cannon that gets ready to fire um, towards the Lord of the Hells as well. Um, and, yeah. Uh, as you guys rush into battle against the Lord of the Hells, um, as he hovers there, um, holding spell energy in his hands, about to cast out um, fiery energy towards all of you, uh, we'll call it right there. That is what wow. we'll call this week's episode. Um, okay, here before. Uh, okay, well here. Uh, I just want to tell you how Zelron looks. He looks a little confused and a little bit like confu uh, c uh, confuddled because he remembers the story of how Hilera and the other party banished him, with uh, Anya and Hilera at the forefront, kind of concocting the whole thing, and he always thought it was failsafe. So. He has this, like, very worryingly confused look on his face. Fair enough. Um, so, thank you to my lovely players for coming out this weekend um, and playing this fun game with us. Um, thank you to anybody who watched at home as well. Um, and we are going to see you next weekend for the continuation of Ragnarok, the second calamity. Um, yeah. See you all next Quick weekend. question, though. Quick question. Uh oh, no. We missed Did we the get level, level up? up. We missed it. <laughs> no, not quite yet. All right. See you guys. Bye bye.